We have been asked to design a very masculine explorer vessel with incredibly high volumes. The concept was originally to try to develop an expedition line but with an elegant super yacht uh, feel. A vessel that is built to go around the world for the ones who are adventurous but also looking for a luxurious uh, atmosphere. Sturdy, boldy lines but also uh, combining the, uh, the sea close to earth approach so that the vessels had a lot of elements which we have not seen before and we fell in love pretty quickly uh, on, that, uh, on that project. Well, we always start from uh, quite tight brief. In our case was uh, basically to create uh, spaces which were at the same time symmetric and asymmetric. Symmetric in terms of designing of the volumes and design of the main surfaces treatment and asymmetric in terms of the use of those spaces. Uh, similar features uh, of uh, saloons of, or yachts of this size but treated in a different way so that you can actually use that space different time of the day and obtaining something new out of it every time you step in. The main feature, I would say, was to actually have the spaces, the volume, the heights of an 80 plus meters somehow condensed into a 60 plus. I-68 have enormous gross storage capacity around 1,800 GT. One of the significant characteristics of I-68 is the interior area capacity. Owner deck, VIP and Guest cabin's interior area is around 875 square meters. The crew area is around 400. Bottom to uh, ceiling windows. Uh, so when you sit inside, you have a connection with nature, which is a uh, pretty amazing. Big master deck, uh, huge master apartment, uh, which actually takes a full uh, full deck of the of the vessel uh, with the beautiful sea views. You have the sun deck with the fireplace. Uh, you have the big pool on the back, beach club. When you step on board, you're immediately carried by the volume, by this uh, connection with the exterior and its capacity of being on a large vessel, but you still feel being on a vessel of a human size. It's, to me, it's a, it's a, it's a genius uh, approach that the designer had into being able to carry such of these uh, boldy effect uh, uh, volumes into a 68 meter and keeping an elegant line. Uh, I would say that, uh, like, unlikely most of the others, when you really have the chance to be on board of the main deck or the upper and look at the construction around you, you will feel something which is different. You will not exactly understand why, but, uh, but from an architect point of view, that, that why is the proportions of the vessel. Uh, the architectonic box of all saloons, all cabins, uh, it's uh, massive, it's huge. Uh, and the volumes, the lights, the heights that you will feel, it's like uncomparable, in my opinion. So I think that this time the team working on the project actually co really collaborated to obtain something which is a bit spectacular. Delivery of I-68 is planned at the end of first quarter 2024, but there is some room for the interior to be adjusted as per the client request. Uh, the volumes of all saloons and cabins are uh, created in such a way that they can really befit any type of interior. But obviously the possibility of customizing these interiors are still tremendously big. It can really 
be uh, transformed according to any owner's wishes. So um, embracing the project at this stage basically can mean saving uh, 18 plus months of working time and still having in the boat for your next season, uh, still with your own taste. As ICAT, uh, we want to achieve the highest uh, standards uh, with the you know, highest customer satisfaction, uh, which comes from our CCN Group uh, strategy. In the company aspects of uh, CCN Group, we always seek for the best solutions within the, uh, with the best team and the partners. Uh, again, in ICAT, uh, we bring together the greatest engineers, uh, best designers and partners together. And I wish success to ICAT team and uh, waiting for new owners for i 68 uh, Maybe the new investors of our uh, recently concept projects.